All right, I got another portable air tank project here for you since I love the first ones I built so much. And this one's even better. How could it be even better? Well, it is. I'll tell you why. Okay, so, I had a modified 20 gallon propane tank, an old one. This was came from the scrapyard. I got this for five bucks from a local scrapyard. Devalved it, degassed it. You want, you want to do this very carefully, do it at your own risk look at my own videos on how to do it and look on the internet on how to safely do it uh, okay so let me show you how what I got going on here so I got a quick coupling that's also not only is that my air tool hookup but that's also my air fill I went a little bit different this way and that's what's really important here and I used a double couple so I hooked that up with my air hose up from my uh, air compressor and fill away got my air gauge I just filled this to pressure test it and I got no leaks all my unions are all Teflon threaded okay and I'll show you how I did this so this is all black pipe and black pipe adapters you can see exactly what I did so there's the original valve hole black pipe adapter to another black pipe adapter to a short straight stem to a T to my air gauge and to another short stem to my quick couple and it's done and another really cool thing about this is I got my I can air carry handle now this particular one is going to be on my ATV so I can carry portable air in the field and, and have air for whatever I need or for camping great and I just barely filled it just to test it and there it is. I'll give you a quick demo. Put my couple in there. I may have to set. I don't know if I can do this with one. There, I go. there goes my air. No problem putting a lot of uh, pressurized air in here. I could easily safely go over 300 psi. Just because this is a propane tank. This, these are like 8 gauge steel. Very heavy duty. So there you go. I hope you guys like this project. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please share.